when we think about moving data and value, not between blockchains, but from the real world to the blockchain world, how that all works. And IOTEX has been building at this intersection of the physical and digital worlds for the past five years, uh, starting by building a layer one and then now building a, somewhat of a layer two off-chain computing ecosystem um, called WebStream that's designed to abstract away the complexity from bringing data from real world devices, real world assets, putting it on chain before it kind of funnels into the networks that were just described on this previous panel. So to dive a little bit deeper into that, we have Aaron, IOTEX's head of product to talk about WebStream and interoperability in the real world. Hey everyone, thanks for the introduction, Larry. It's been awesome today. I love the energy in the room. It's been incredible, both sides, the demo room, and here today on the panel stage. So like Larry said, I'm the head of product at IOTEX, and I'm happy to come and speak with you guys today about interoperability in the real world. So I'm gonna start by providing you guys with a little definition that I put together here of what is interoperability in the real world. So to me, it's the ability of devices, blockchains, and decentralized applications to exchange and make use of information from one another. So let's dive into our agenda here and how IOTEX plans to solve these issues around interoperability. So IOTEX, we have shifted our focus from an L1 to an interoperable middleware. And I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about that today. After that, I'm going to be going into interoperability in the real world and deep in, and finally, facilitating interoperability with our flagship product, WebStream. So let's dive into the history of IOTEX a little bit here and why we have the credibility in order to achieve what we can achieve with WebStream. So back in 2017, we launched our white paper. Our white paper had a thesis that the biggest users of blockchain in the future are gonna be devices rather than people. Intuitively, this makes sense. I can see smartwatch there, smartwatch there, smartwatch there. And I can guarantee every one of you has a smartphone as well. Let's take a look at your home. Your smart doorbell, your smart thermometer, your smart car, and many more. So we see billions of devices to be out there in the future. This is why in 2019 we launched a mainnet L1 for this exact fact. This has become a crowded space and we have decided to transition and, as, uh, uh, and continue to push towards this flagship product of WebStream. In 2020 and 2021, we launched a couple of POC devices. In 2020, it was the UCAM, which actually has 20,000 devices out there right now. This is a privacy-enabled blockchain. In order to access the camera footage, you need to use your uh, private key and wallet address. And then in 2021, we launched our Pebble Tracker device. And this really laid the foundation for MachineFi and Deepin and this whole sector that is actually the fastest growing sector in crypto today. And then finally, solving the issues of Deepin with WebStream and other products that we've released and are gonna be launching in the next year. So, a little bit more about IOTEX here. We have over 300,000 users, over 300 million assets on chain, and backed by big players, Samsung Next, Jump, Draper Dragon, and many more. I have an announcement for you guys. Let's get a drum roll going here. It's a big one. <laughs> so our cutting edge research and innovation over the past six years has led us to this point today where we're able to announce that we're the recipient of the Ethereum grant related to zero knowledge, specifically zero knowledge proofs uh, based account abstraction wallet. And we see this being a big player in the future, both zero knowledge and account abstraction in providing the user adoption wave of the future. So we're really excited to announce this today. And uh, it's just a tribute, a big con contribution to our research team and uh, the innovation that we've had over the past five years and continue to do today. 
So what is DPIN? DPIN stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks. And what exactly this means is from a user perspective, by purchasing a device, you're able to receive tokenized incentives by providing that data to developers in order to build decentralized applications with. And again, I said this earlier, I'm gonna say it again because it is the fact that Deepin is the single greatest, uh, single fastest growing sector in crypto. Here's a look at the Deepin sector today. And it's growing fast, like it's hard to keep up. But here's some big projects that you probably know about. One is called Helium. So of course, Helium, you're able to, uh, users are able to deploy a hotspot, and by providing that hotspot to the greater community, you're able to receive uh, tokenized incentives. Another project that you might know about is called Demo. By providing uh, smart card data, you're able to, again, receive tokenized incentives. And this is essentially drive to earn. You can think about drive to earn, walk to earn, fly to earn. There's a project called Spexagon where you're able to fly your drone. And by flying your drone and mapping the, the area, you're able to receive tokenized incentives. So these are just some examples of some of the amaz amazing tech and projects that we're seeing out there today. Even if you take a walk around our demo booth outside, you'll see a project called Pocket Sky, which is pro providing weather data to third parties. And by providing that weather data, of rural communities, you're able to again receive those tokenized incentives. Just a few weeks ago, we launched this product called Deepin Scan. So one of the problems that we saw, and we were hearing from the, the sector and the projects that are working in Deepin, is a lack of transparency. So by building Deepin Scan, we're able to increase the transparency of the sector. And investing in Deepin is different than investing in any other sector in crypto. And the reason it's different is because you're not going to be investing in a token necessarily. You have the option to invest in the hardware. And by investing in the hardware as a user, you're able to receive those tokenized incentives for providing that data. So how do I decide which hardware to buy? This is the essence of why we built Deepin Scan. You're able to compare Deepin projects to one another. So I'm able to see, OK, if I purchase this piece of hardware from Demo, or if I purchase this piece of hardware from Helium, I'm able to compare on a project by project basis the price breakdown of, OK, I purchased this product. I'm able to receive my money back in X amount of days in order to break even, and then when can I become profitable? So there are some projects out there I might want to invest in just because I believe in the value proposition, and that token could 300, 1,000, 1 million X in the future. But there may be the projects that are more well established, and I want to invest in those because uh, I take a look at the prof profitability perspective in the short term. Another thing that we built with Deep and Scan is this Map Explorer. So a lot of the projects building right now, the bigger ones certainly have a great, uh, they've already built and they already have these map explorers. But for the up and coming projects, they don't want to waste time building a map explorer, it's unnecessary. So instead, they can rely on our map explorer in order to provide that transparency to their community and the greater deep in sector. So let's dive into Webstream, our flagship product. Here's a look at the current architecture of the deep end sector for the most part. So projects are forced to use their centralized cloud in order to run computation and it provide incentives to users for providing their data. And this is a problem because this leads to centralization which is antithetical to the promise of crypto. And I know you guys all believe that too. It leads to a lack of trust a lack of transparency, poor composability, and privacy concerns. So what if there was a decentralized protocol that addressed those challenges? Something that was developer friendly, something that was trustworthy, composable, and provide end-to-end -end ownership of your data using zero-knowledge proofs. Enter 
WebStream. WebStream is an off-chain protocol that takes data from smart devices, runs computation, and generates proofs that can be used across any chain. Interoperability, the theme of today's session, and this is where we are leading with interoperability. Effectively, again, I'll say it, acting as the middleman between devices and smart device data and any chain. WebStream Studio is where developers can go and interact with WebStream. As the product guy, it's my job to make sure that this is the most user-friendly place for developers can go and develop. And I take pride in this that we built, and we're really excited to get more and more feedback and continue to iterate the product. So let's take a look at WebStream in action from both a developer's perspective and a user's perspective. So with WebStream, a user or a developer will install a device SDK onto the device. They will then write their compute logic in any language in their WebAssembly module applet. And finally, they will write and deploy a smart contract across any chain. Again, you heard me say the word any like three times there. And the reason is, again, interoperability. So any device, any coding language, and any smart contract. So let's take a look at the user's perspective now. A user is able to purchase a device, send that signed data over to WebStream, and generate those cryptographic zero-knowledge proofs that can be used on any chain where the user is able to then receive incentives for providing that data. Another announcement. So along with the support for Polygon, Ethereum, and IOTEX, we are now able to announce support for Arbitrum and many more. Again, promise of interoperability. So here are some of the pioneering partners of Deepin and pioneering partners of WebStream. I mentioned a few already. There's a couple others to call out here, HealthBlocks, EnviroBlock, uh, GeodeNet, and many more. And we're really excited for the future of Deepin. We're really excited to continue to work with and propel this sector forward. Thank you. Thank you.